Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. They didn't even say that in my remarks, but I knew to do it. Um, it's a great day. <laughs> Thank you, President Biden, for inviting us to the White House. Thank you, Speaker Pelosi and Secretary Raimondo. And thanks to all my great Senate colleagues who are here today as well. Well, what a six weeks it has been for the Senate. The incredible Inflation Reduction Act, the PACT Act, gun reform, NATO, and one of the most important things that we have done for America in years, if not decades, chips and science. <laughs> for the last century, American prosperity was anchored on our unmatched commitment to scientific research and innovation. The question facing America today is whether that prosperity will live on in the century to come. Today, by enacting the Chips and Science Act, the largest investment in manufacturing, science, and innovation in decades, we say that America's best years still lie ahead. All too often, government and businesses are accused of thinking too short-term. But this is one of the most significant long-term thinking bills in ages. I firmly believe our grandchildren will work in jobs we can't even envision now because of these great investments. And to the innovators, <laughs> job creators, and workers who have witnessed the slow erosion of America's semiconductor industry, we will bring these jobs back to our shores and end our dependence on foreign chips. All right. Generations, America has been the beacon of excellence to the world in science, innovation, and engineering. Our research has generated groundbreaking discoveries. Our industry has powered unprecedented prosperity. Our technology has altered the course of history. And our workforce our workforce has been the envy of the world. And we thank our friends in labor who are here today for being the envy of the world. This legislation is keep in keeping with this all-American tradition, ensuring that our nation can outcompete any nation in the world. Under President Biden, our beacon of excellence will glow for generations to come. Thank you, Mr. President. And thank you all. God bless America. He truly has done so with the leadership that has made all this great legislation possible under the leadership of President Biden. I said thank you all. I'm very, very proud. This is an exciting day. We talked about it all over the country, all over the world. People are just in awe of the accomplishment that this is, because it's about science, 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 and science. Jobs, 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 health care, and they're all that science leads to. Science is an answer to our prayers. Chips and science are doubly an answer to our prayers. And with that, I have the very big honor of introducing the Secretary of Commerce. As I said, her persistent brilliance was so instrumental in bringing people together, in making essential priorities, in understanding what we had to do in such a special way. Millions of dollars to attract the businesses to their countries to produce these chips. But these industry leaders also see America is back and leading the way. During my State of the Union, I described the field of dreams on 1,000 acres outside of Columbus, Ohio, where America's future will be built. Intel, whose CEO is here today, Pat Gelsinger, is here today. He's going to break ground in the next generation semiconductor factories in central Ohio early this fall. American company Micron is announcing today 
that because of this law, it's going to invest $40 billion over 10 years to build factories and special chips called memory chips that store information on your smartphone. <coughs> investment. This investment alone is going to create 40,000 jobs. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. An increased market share in memory chips by 500 percent. Two more American companies. I want to take another sip of water. Two other companies, Global Foundries and Qualcomm, announced yesterday a $4 billion partnership to produce chips in the U.S. that would otherwise have gone overseas. <laughs> Qualcomm is one of the world's largest Ready? Got it? Yes. Oh, it's low. Oh. 